So today I'm gonna to be testing what I think is a Chinese cleaver. It came in a unmarked package from Amazon. So we'll see, it's like a secret unboxing. Welcome to the Chef Knife Co. Uh, I'm doing the second in maybe a series, we'll see how it goes, of super cheap knives, the cheapest knives I can find on Amazon. Now, this is a meat cleaver, knife butcher, uh, kitchen or restaurant, apparently, what it says on this little sticker. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, this one was about $19.50, I think. Um, once again, it's not marked, so I don't really know what it is, because I've ordered a few. Uh, it's kind of weighty. Let's open it and have a look. So, ooh. All right, plastic. Um, it is pretty heavy. It's good that they've got this thing on here to protect the postman. Uh, and then we'll slide it out of the cardboard. Jesus. <laughs> what a ridiculous looking knife. Um, yeah, so this is the Chinese cleaver. Uh, and, all right, so wood handle? No, I don't think so. Um, Let's see if you can see, there's little bits of, uh, there's like a plastic um, bit stuck in there. Um, it's actually reasonably convincing in terms of a wooden handle. I don't know if you can see that. This is 100% plastic, but it, it's kind of, kind of got a wooden look to it. The pins um, are entirely uh, sunk in and not set correctly, but what are we talking about? $19.50, it's not too bad. All right. Um, Initial thoughts. The weight's pretty good. Although there's a lot of steel here, it'd be pretty hard not to feel weighty. Um, for a cleaver, it's not as heavy as many cleavers that I'd, I'd buy, but it's not too bad. It's got this kind of mountainous range looking uh, stamp into it, which seems to be a thing at the moment. I reckon there's a factory that's doing that specifically. Um, and if it's not the same factory, then a lot of people are copying it because it's on a lot of these kind of cheap knives, this kind of mountainous looking forged pattern. Um, all right, what do we got? So uh, the handle is not flush with the tang. It's kind of flush in little in places. Uh, you probably can't see it. It's a little bit small, but it's definitely not flush here and here um, or down at the bottom here. So there's areas where it is kind of flush, others where it's simply not. Um, whether this is really forged or just stamped, I have no idea. There's no way to tell, really. Um, but the interesting shape, so what I think this is for, I'm assuming that's for turning over and whacking bones. It's not just a random shape. I think that's probably kind of to be used a bit like a hammer. Uh, it looks like it's been sharpened certainly not sharp hold on let's test some paper there's no way in that's gonna cut that no it just kind of uh, rips it obviously um but all in all the weight's actually not too bad um i wouldn't be disappointed if this was a good quality knife the weight would be great uh let's try it's got a it's got a metallic ring to it um sounds a bit like what a steel knife should sound like. Let's try to cut something. Oh, yeah. Straight out of the box is the tip not so sharp. Oh no, it's not too bad. All right, so straight out of the box or the bag, uh, the sharpness is pretty good. I've said before, I don't think the straight out of the box test is a good test because you can sharpen almost any piece of steel, whether it's good steel or bad steel, to a sharp um, edge. Uh, but, you know, it's good to have something straight out of the box because you can just get it out and start using it. So, what does it come in at weight-wise? Let's have a look. So, it is 340 grams. It's pretty good. Not too bad at all. The, um, the, sh the uh, what do you call this? The bevel. On this part here is very rough no idea if you can see that but it's extremely extremely rough no you can't really see that but anyway so I talked about the handle being plastic how does it feel it feels pretty good it's a nice size it's not too small 
not too big. Um, I reckon you could really get into some good chopping with that kind of handle. And the steel uh, is not badly um, polished on the bevel. You can see that the machine's done it, obviously, that's totally fine. Um, but what's strange is it looks like, which is something I wouldn't have expected on a really cheap knife, it almost looks like there's a sheen or a coating on the um, the forge effect area because it's even the, the uh, black forgy bits uh, shiny. So it's almost like there's a coating on that part. Whether that stays on or comes off over time, who knows? Now in terms of a sturdy knife, it's a pretty sturdy knife. It is pretty straight, very straight. So not bad from sturdiness and straightness. Um, can't feel a burr on either side. So it's been honed, sharpened and honed correctly. What else can you say? I reckon we go try to cut something with it. Give it a test. Right, so we're going to have a crack at this cleaver. Uh, as I said, it feels pretty good I, and it is pretty sharp. It cut the paper fine. So I reckon it's going to cut these ingredients without a problem. But let's give it a crack. So, carrot. Ooh, that's weird. Did not expect that. It pulled to the side. Let's try it again. Whoa, it was crazy. Kind of pulls to the side. Interesting. Was not expecting that. Um, but does it go through all right? Sure. Whoa, so weird. It really just pulls all the way to the side. You can see the way the carrot has pulled. And I was cutting straight down on that. Um, yeah, okay. I wasn't expecting it, so I uh, don't know where to go from there. Let's cut the end off. Ah, not good. Not good at all. I mean, cleavers aren't really designed for this kind of work, but I've used so many cleavers and they don't have that sort of problem. Uh, let's try some really fine tip work on this weird piece of carrot here. Cleaver, that's one thing, even though they're really big, cleavers are often really good for um, using on the tip, so a lot of tip work is great with cleavers. This one is Okay, it's fine because it's really sharp. It's not fine because it keeps pulling to the side, so I keep getting really strange cuts. What, what is going on? It's almost like the bevel's uneven. It looks fine, but it's just pulling, so I can't uh, cut easily with that. Let's try this potato. Not too bad. The release is fine because it's got quite a uh, convex on. Um, convex, yeah grind so it, it widens out quite quickly so it pushes material away from it so the way that it pushes and then it's, it comes off very easily so that's all good cuts the potato pretty well actually um, I don't actually have any bones to smash with this thing um, but you know we could always smash a piece of potato I guess um, it's just gonna go through if you wanna Chop bits of potato into chunks, fine. Not really what it's used for. Uh, sorry, I can't show you that. I just don't have any bones on me. Uh, piece of meat, let's have a look at a piece of meat. It's actually really quite nice. Although the test it will always be once uh, this has been used for quite a while. So I wanted to test uh, how well the steel's been hardened. Now I've got a couple of things here. I have a very soft piece of mild steel and I'm going to smack it against it. I don't want to damage the edge because I am going to use this just for a bit and see what it, uh, how it uh, goes over time. But I'm going to use this to smack into the here and see if the uh, knife dents or if the mild steel dents. If the knife dents that is a real big problem because this is a pathetic piece of steel. And then I have just a random uh, knife that I made a very long time ago. But it's, I think it's quite well uh, hardened, so I want to test it against that as well. So, first things first, we'll just try it against here and see which one dents. So, not a single mark there. And yeah, so that uh, dented, can we see it? Just there. Bit out of focus, but you can see that. So, okay, against mild steel, sure, fine. Against some 
well hardened steel. Let's see. Hmm. I don't mind damaging this because it's just a in my workshop style knife. Um, actually, I will. I'll try it on the edge of this piece here. What's the best angle? All right. So they're sort of together. Don't know if you can see that. Which one won? Okay. So that has a little dent in it. Can you see that? Yes, you can. And then my knife. Eh, there's a very tiny nick there as well. So they're reasonably equally matched because, yeah, that's almost exactly the same amount. All right, so um, not a bad hardening as well. So first impressions of this Chinese cleaver, uh, $19.50 Australian dollars. What is that? Probably $14, $13 American. So very cheap. Um, as I said, the weight's pretty good. Uh, it's sharp straight out of the box. Cuts very strangely. Would I recommend it? No, I wouldn't recommend it. This was a fun little test. Um, I reckon uh, I'm gonna use it a little bit in the kitchen and see what happens after a few washes. I use it, the plastic handle. I reckon it's gonna come off uh, in not too short a time. Um, yeah, so fun, but no, I wouldn't buy this knife if, and I certainly wouldn't recommend it to you, but it was a fun test. Um, I was a little bit surprised, right? It's a little bit better than I thought it was gonna be. <clears throat> I thought it was gonna be a lot uh, tinnier and lighter, uh, and I certainly didn't think that it would match the hardness of one of the knives that I've hardened. Um, I take great care to make sure that the steel is very hard it, and it matched it, so that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, not great for uh, for everyday use and I didn't have any bones uh, to break with it. I'm sorry about that. Maybe next time, but um, yeah, anyway, the cleaver, $19 uh, Amazon cleaver was certainly better than I thought it was going to be. Wouldn't buy it. Not recommending it. Don't judge me for doing it. Have a great day and uh, we'll see you on the next one.